Hello. This week I've chosen a reading from the Old Testament from the book of Exodus, chapter 33, beginning at verse 18. Moses said, Please show me your glory. And he said, I will make all my goodness pass before you, and will proclaim before you the name of the Lord. And I will be gracious to whom I will be gracious, and will show mercy on whom I will show mercy. But he said, You cannot see my face, for no one shall see me and live. And the Lord continued, See, there is a place by me where you shall stand on the rock, and while my glory passes by, I will put you in a cleft of the rock, and I will cover you with my hand until I have passed by. Then I will take away my hand, and you shall see my back, but my face shall not be seen. I don't imagine those verses loom large in your daily Bible reading. They certainly seem pretty obscure, but let's see what they might have to say to us. Moses desperately wants to see God's glory, and he asks boldly and courageously if he may do so. But the Lord says, you cannot see my face and live. One of our best-known hymns, which we sing on Trinity Sunday and at other times, contains this truth in verse form. Holy, 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 though the darkness hide thee, though the eye of sinful man thy glory may not see, only thou art holy, there is none beside thee, perfect in power, in love and purity. God's hiddenness is just as important as his appearance. This is a recurring theme in our hymns and in much spiritual writing. Immortal, invisible, inaccessible, incomprehensible. All these are negative words, but they are our inadequate human ways of trying to describe what is too big for words. As one spiritual writer put it, the cloud of unknowing. Awe and mystery are essential ingredients of holiness, as we sometimes discover in our worship, and perhaps at other times when we're confronted by perhaps the wonder of creation, or a piece of music, a work of art, or perhaps by astounding goodness which we perceive in another person. But by the grace of God, the hiddenness which so troubled Moses has been uncovered in the incarnation of Jesus, the human epiphany or showing forth of God in human form. The one who has seen me has seen the Father, said Jesus. In him, the nature of God is expressed in a way that we can begin to understand. In Jesus' teaching and actions, especially in the Sermon on the Mount and the miracles of healing, we glimpse the heart of God and the priorities of his kingdom. Does this remove from our faith the element of mystery, holiness and awe? Far from it. As an ancient liturgy, which has been summarised in another well-known hymn, puts it, let all mortal flesh keep silence, and with fear and trembling stand. Ponder nothing earthly-minded, for with blessings in his hand, Christ our God to earth descendeth, our full homage to demand. There could be nothing more awesome or mysterious than that. So. A word of prayer. Let us pray. O God our Father, enthroned in majesty, yet here by our side, ruler of all, yet friend of all, we bring our worship, we bring ourselves, praising you for the mystery of your unfailing love and celebrating your presence among us in Jesus Christ our Lord. To you be honour and glory now and always.